Because of Alexander Morton's court case, the federal government is charged with developing new fish farm regulations. This is a crucial time to act up. If there is ever a time to affect change on this industry and save the wild salmon of British Columbia, that time is upon us now. There's three questions that I just don't get the answers to at all. And the first of them is, why do we not learn from experiences elsewhere? when it is so obvious that fish stocks have been impacted in places like Norway, Ireland, and Scotland. Why do we continue to make the same mistakes here instead of learning from those experiences there? The second thing is, what the hell do we get out of it? If all the profits are flowing back to Norway, what exactly is the BC taxpayer, the Canadian taxpayer, or even the people in the communities up and down the coast, how do we benefit from this in any way at all? And the third one is, why is DFO in denial? From the studies that I've done, and particularly other people like Alex Morton and Marty Kosick have done, I think it's, it's clear, there is no question whatsoever in any independent scientist's mind that sea lice from, from uh, aquaculture pens have the potential and have indeed caused serious declines in wild salmon populations. There's no question about this. We can always use more studies, but honestly, folks, there's enough. What we really need is we need to put a fire under the government. And we need to make them know that this matters to us. You have all kinds of ways in your hands. You have money, you have um, knowledge, you have legs, you have hands, you have brains mostly. But what my people need from you is heart. To work beside us, to walk with us, to learn with us. We'll teach you what we can teach you. But you teach us what you know to. Do we have to do this? We, you and I, scientists, and the government of all things should be in this together. If we lose our beautiful salmon that is the lifeblood of this province and this coast, it'll be just unforgivable for future generations and they will look back on us saying, what were you guys doing? Ottawa is presently working on a new aquaculture plan. They have a big new aquaculture office. Uh, and uh, the plan is to double aquaculture production in Canada over the next several years. So that's the position that the federal government's developing in secret right now. So if you're concerned about aquaculture, you've got to raise more hell than ever right now. It's Cohen inquiry. I think it's really important. It relates to missing sockeye in the Fraser, but its terms of reference are wide enough that it can look at everything, including the ineptness and the resources and DFO. And the key thing I think we should all have to realize is that we will never rehabilitate a fishery or renew a fishery until we rehabilitate that damn bureaucracy called DFO and its lack of leadership. So get to the Cohen inquiry, raise hell. You don't have to be a fishery scientist do so. People from DFO, scientists from DFO, whose opinions I know differ sometimes quite dramatically from what they say in public, are going to be forced to say what they truthfully believe. And they're going to say that under oath, and they're going to say that in a way that protects them from any political interference. So I'm very much looking forward to that. I understand that there's two companies that are culprits here and that they are Norwegian. And I would like their address. I would like to write to these people and speak to them directly, and even perhaps send some letters to some Norwegian newspapers. I think the Norwegian people probably are like us and don't like this particularly. They don't want this kind of a reputation around the world. That's what drives me around the bend, is to know that this, this Norwegian companies can come into our people's territory when we live in abject poverty in our village and they can wantingly destroy what has sustained us since time immemorial. We need to do something now and that is by writing these letters. That's about talking to your friends. It's about posting things on your Facebook site. On mine I put the, the Minister uh, Gail Shea's email address and Gordon Campbell's and the Minister of Ag and Lands. We must insist that our politicians square with us. We must insist that the media do the same thing, or cancel our subscriptions, or do whatever is necessary. And that's the, that's the action we have to take. We are the soldiers on the ground that need to act out the intention that those things that destroy the environment are not acceptable.